the police chief has recommended he cut the mounted patrol. We're going to fight for it. It's a fight reserve police officer Bob Ball has been in the middle of for almost a decade. This isn't a smart cut because in an era where it's clear we've had uh, problems with community trust between the community and the police bureau, this is one of our most effective tools. But city budget writers say putting the horse patrol program out to pasture would save the city more than a million dollars a year. Ball says, though, that doesn't add up since most of the money is for officers who would be reassigned. But the program needs a new home if it survives. The city council votes Wednesday to let the Portland Development Commission redevelop the entire Centennial Mills property along the northwest waterfront. The patrol was located on part of that property for several years. But now, the horses are trucked in from a temporary home at a Lake Oswego barn. Meanwhile, Friends of the Mounted Patrol has raised well more than half a million dollars to create a permanent home here, remodeling a police impound lot near the St. John's Bridge. The group intends to stir up public support to show the program is not just a show of goodwill, but working officers, whether they're dealing with rowdy demonstrators or drug dealers. They're out there doing addressing crime that's out just as a walking patrol beat would. If they're in a high drug area or any area where they've gotten complaints, they're making arrests and just doing good old fashioned, you know, police work and arresting bad guys. And a lot of people don't know that. Now, as for the mayor, I'm told he has not yet made any decision. His budget plan comes out next month. I checked, though, and found out some cities have actually added or are about to bring back mounted patrols, especially as a way to handle crowd control. We'll be following the trail of all this here in Portland. Yeah, over the years we've been down this path before. They say they're <laughs> endangered, and then the mounted patrol is victorious. They remain. We'll see what happens this time. Lisa, thank you. We learned about this story from our media partners at the Portland Tribune. You can read more online now or in tomorrow's edition of the paper. Now to OSU, where the Board of Trustees has postponed a meeting on increasing tuition.